Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before proceeding to tutorial, I request you that please subscribe to my channel. To subscribe, click on this red subscribe button, and then click on bell icon, so that in future whenever I will upload a tutorial on my channel, you will be notified via email. Thank you. Okay, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to use vanishing point filter in Photoshop. Open your images. Link of the images that I am using in this tutorial is given in the description of the video. Press D to choose type tool, and type your text. Press Ctrl T and increase the size. Change the color as per your requirement. Make it bold. Then click on text layer to show the selection, and copy it. Deselect the selection. Hide the text layer. Create a new layer. Go to filter and choose vanishing point filter, and this window will appear. Click on create plane tool button. Click and add points to make a perspective surface by following the road. After completing if you see blue color of the surface, it means that your perspective is right. Otherwise it is wrong. You change the position of the points of the plane. Red lines shows that this is not correct. Now it is ok. Press Ctrl V to paste our font here which we was copied earlier. You can resize your text by pressing Ctrl T or clicking on this transform tool. After resizing, put it on the blue lines surface that we have created earlier. You can see that its size is very big. Let me resize it. You can see that now our text is in perspective style. As I move it away it's looking smaller, and when I am moving it near, it's looking bigger. Click OK to apply. Let me remove this white road symbol. Make a selection with marquee tool around the symbol. Before releasing mouse, hold space key to reposition your selection. Then select clone stamp tool, hold down alt key and click on the road near to the white symbol to get that area, and start painting. Make sure that you are no right layer. Press Ctrl D to remove the selection. Hide text layer. And do the same. Show your text layer. Change the blending mode of the text layer to overlay.
Click on text layer to make selection. Choose dark blue color. And press alter and backspace key to fill foreground color in the text. Now our text is on the road and looking realistic. If you want, you can move it, but it can lose perspective angle. So let it go. I am renaming my happy journey layer. And deleting this text layer, as we don't need it anymore. Ok, let me show you one more example. I want to write text here with the by following box perspective. So again press D to choose type tool, and type your text. Press Ctrl T and resize it. Click on text layer and make selection. Copy it. Remove selection, hide the text layer. Create a new layer, go to filter and choose vanishing point. Choose plane tool, and make a perspective plane. Press Ctrl V to paste your text. Select Transform Tool, hold down Shift key and resize it. Then move it on the plane that we have created. Click OK to apply. Let me change text color. Press I to select eyedropper tool and click on the ribbon to grab its color. Then press Alter and Backspace key to fill our text with foreground color. If you want, you can change blending mode. I am going with light and blending mode. Now I want to place this flower shape at the right side of the box. Choose any shape that you like. Right click on the shape layer, and choose, rasterize layer. After that click on the shape layer to make its selection, go to edit and copy the selection. Remove the selection. Hide shape layer. Create a new layer. Go to Filter, and choose Vanishing Point. Again create a plane. Press Ctrl V to paste shape that we have copied earlier. Resize if as per your choice, and put it on the plane. Again press Ctrl V to make another copy of the shape. Move it on the plane. Resize it as per your choice.
You can also take a copy of the shape by holding down Alt key, and clicking and dragging towards right side. That's it. So that was the tutorial, how to use vanishing point filter in Photoshop. I hope you like it. If you have any question, suggestion, or feedback, feel free to comment below. If you like my videos please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.